Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's class. Guys, before that, I hope all of you are aware of the live classes and our mobile application. So let's begin with the question number one. Which of the following statements is are correct about the operation? Make chuck. So here the right answer is option A. That is, it aims to correct or curtail the uh, child sexual abuse material. Okay, that is the child pornographic material. That is the basic idea of this operation make Dooth, which is being run by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Now, who is the current chairperson of this CBI? The Director General. You need to tell me in the comment section below. The second question is, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has announced to launch the Swatch toy uh, to explore the solutions for use of waste for creation of toys. The second phase of Swatch Bharat Mission 2.0 was launched on 1st October 2021 to create garbage-free cities by Dash. So what is the right answer? The right answer is option B, 2026. Now what is this Swatch toy kathon? Now guys, every kind of kathon is basically a challenge. So it is a toy kathon, a challenge for the innovators, the startups to create solutions which can help the industries in India to create toys by using waste. So here we are killing two birds with one stone. Okay, we are tackling the problem of waste and at the same time we are making our own industry stand on its own feet. Okay, because the Indian toy market uh, or you can say Indian toy manufacturing industry is crippled due to the dumping of uh, toys by China. Majority of the toys in Indian market are imported and that too the imports are coming from the China. Okay, so uh, we need to correct this situation because for that the government has launched this Swatch Toy Kathon. So here we are going to use the waste to create the toys. Now when the NMPT National Action Plan for Toys is important, it was launched in 2020 and it is being run by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade along with 14 other ministries. Apart from this, I have already explained this statement that the second phase of SBM was launched, and was launched on 1st October 2021 and the basic idea of it was to have garbage free cities by 2026. Now one more important statement is that the Swatch toy Kathon will be hosted on the My Government's Innovate India portal and this is a very important information, do remember that. The third question is which of the following statements is are correct about the Jaldut application? So here option C, it aims to capture the water level of selected wells in a village is the correct statement. So here guys, the very first question that can be asked from this news, I have already asked you one statement based question. Now one more question that is tricky from this news and that question is ministry. But Jal Dhut sounds very similar to Jal and Jal Shakti Ministry. However, the fact here is that the Ministry of Rural Development has launched this Jal Dhut application. The basic idea of this application is to assess the level of water in the wells, okay, in villages across the nation. That is the basic idea. And the water level will be me measured twice a year, pre-monsoon and post-monsoon, okay. So that is the information about the Jaldut application. Now what is the government planning to do with this information? The government is going to refurbish the water sources in the villages by giving the opportunity to the MG Narega worker. So here again we are doing the same thing. We are killing two birds with one stone. We are first of all tackling the problem of uh, groundwater uh, and the water resources in the village villages and secondly we are providing the employment under the MG Narega scheme okay so rural employment is also boosted here through this information okay however this application is just for providing the information and mapping the water level the remaining work rests in the hands of this ministry now the next question is one week one lab theme based campaign has been launched to showcase the technological breakthroughs and innovations in each CSIR laboratories spread across the country. How many CSIR labs are operating in India as of September 2022? So here 37 is the right answer. Now what is the initiative? 
one week one lakh okay so under this initiative the technological breakthroughs basically the new developments done by the csir lab, labs okay a uh, council of, of scientific research scientific and industrial research and innovations in each of the 37 csir laboratories and institutes across the country so those innovations will be displayed in exhibition you can say uh, exhibition kind of an event now this announcement was made at the csir leadership meeting which was uh, organized for the first time now it is your target or your task to tell me the director general of csir and remember the person who is the incumbent director general is the first woman director general of csir so quickly tell me who that woman is next question is when was the fund of funds for startups scheme launched under the startup india scheme so here yeah, 2016 is the right answer so what is the news exactly the news is that the central government has provided rupees 7385 crores to 88 alternate investment funds from the funds of funds for startup scheme now i am going to explain this scheme here to you and then i will tell you the details of the news okay which is uh, here for us to discuss so first of all we have the fund of funds scheme for startup okay through this fund basically it is a fund so through this fund the government is going to provide funding to the alternative investment funds now what are the alternative investment funds these are just like your mutual funds okay however what is the difference between the aif and mutual fund the difference is that mutual funds invest in conventional stock in conventional tools like stocks bonds or debt okay but this alternative investment fund which has alternative in its name itself it chooses to invest in different options okay like your uh, uh, hedge funds and different kinds of venture capital is also a kind of alternative investment fund so these ais look for different new kinds of investment of options however the mechanism of both of these organizations are uh, is same aif also collect funds from investors and then invest in the company or in the stock whatever is the security aif and mutual fund invest then after collecting the money from the investors now here after getting assistance from the government through this fund of fund scheme the aifs are going to uh, you can say invest the funding in the startups okay so this is the basic idea this is the basic scheme but there should be a question in your mind why to take such a long route why can't the government directly invest in the startups why to involve the aifs here so here in my opinion there are two reasons for that first is then first is that if we are involving this industry in between obviously this industry is also getting a uh, work or you can say a boost so this is also getting uh you can say uplifted this industry is also getting a boost by the government and at the same time they are getting business from the government secondly the work of selecting the startups and the research uh, and the tracking of the funds that aif has given to the startups and whether the startups are utilizing the funds optimally or not all such work has been delegated to the aifs because now the investment is being done by the aifs themselves so they are going to track the performance of the startups and all the work or expenditure or time that the government had to put on research that time is now saved and also the cost so in my opinion these are the two reasons because of which the government has taken this long route one more reason is also there that the government has only sufficient funds it cannot invest in majority of the startups if the government wanted to invest Directly, then it would have invested only a few startups. But with the involvement of AIFs, because AIF is not only taking money from the government, it has a pool of investors who are going to give money to it. So AIF are going to provide money to a larger, uh, you can say, array of startups. So the basket is larger here, and we can benefit more and more startups. So these can be the reasons behind this fund of fund schemes. Okay. 
Now, what is the news? The news is that first of all, the government has allocated seven thousand three eighty five crores to eighty eight AIFs, and remember, all the AIFs are registered with SEBI. Okay. The scheme in itself has committed a total of eleven thousand two hundred six crore rupees to seven twenty startups. Okay. So here, by uh, till now, we have this much of benefit. Uh, we have provided this much of benefit to the startups to seven twenty startups. Okay. So that is the benefit of this scheme. Now the scheme was launched in 2016 under the Startup India scheme. The scheme, the fund of fund scheme, has a corpus of rupees 10,000 crore. And when it was launched, it was decided that the corpus will be developed during this tenure. This information is not that important for you because now we have developed this much of corpus and already provided the support. To the provided the support, or you can say we have already seen the results of the scheme in this statement. Okay. The next statement here is that under the scheme, support is extended to the SEBI registered AIFs, which in turn invest in the startups. Collectively, the AIFs have support AIFs supported by the FFS have a target corpus of over forty eight thousand. so that is another statement that is important now the next question is who heads the newly constituted corporate advisory group of the international solar alliance so here pranav r mehta is the right answer so the international solar alliance has created a corporate advisory committee and the chairperson of this committee is pranav r mehta so he is or the founder and chairman of national solar energy federation of india and also the director of the global solar council and now he has been given this responsibility of this new committee there are other two facts also that you need to know first is that india is going to host the 14th clean energy ministerial meeting in 2023 and the next statement is that india's bio economy is expected to reach 150 billion dollars by 2025 a very important step the next question is with which country has india conducted the operation sadan readiness of combined maritime forces so here sessions is the right answer uh, now guys this ins sunanya uh, sunayana ha, sunayana has conducted this um, operation Sudan readiness of combined maritime forces exercise with Seychelles. Okay, and remember the exercise was conducted at Port Victoria. Every kind of naval exercise has two phases, harbor and sea phase. So remember that. The joint training uh, exercise. It was a training exercise. So it was not only con uh, conducted or you can say attended by India and Seychelles. Other countries were also involved. U.S. Italy, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, uh, and UK, Spain, etc. Now here you just need to remember India also participated in this exercise, which was hosted by Seychelles at Port Victoria. Okay. State-owned Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited has signed an agreement with Petrobras for sourcing crude oil. Which country does the latter belong to? So here. This Petrobras organization belongs to Brazil. It is basically, you can say, a corporate partnership between two companies. One is from India, another one is from Brazil. That is the basic idea. Indian companies BPCL and Brazilian companies Petrobras. So they are going to explore. They are going to conduct the exploration of crude oil in Brazil. So this. Bharat Petrobras Limited is basically the oil and gas exploration and production subsidiary of BPCL. Not an important statement for all of you. You can skip. Obviously, it has Bharat Petro in its name. You can easily guess that it must be a subsidiary of Bharat Petroleum Corporation. Okay. So on that note, there is a very interesting question in my mind. Recently, REC Limited has been given the status. Of a Maharatna company. Tell me whether the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited is 
a Maharatna company or not? And if it is not a Maharatna, then what is it? Is it a Navratna or a Miniratna? Do tell me that question in the comment section. The next question is, which bank has inaugurated the ethical hacking lab at the Cyber Security Center of Excellence in Hyderabad? So here guys, Union Bank of India is the right answer. And this bank is there in the news uh, very frequently. So prepare the static of this bank, like the headquarters, the present chairperson, the tagline. Headquarters and tagline are not going to change anytime. So you can definitely remember the static fact. Now coming to the last question, who has been appointed as a Director General of Employees, State Insurance Corporation. So here, uh, guys, the right answer has not been provided in the options. The right answer is Rajendra Kumar. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any feedbacks, you can provide it in the comment section below. Thank you. Have a good day.